Hey guys, the, the little video you just saw was a video of a McDonald's Big Mac up on there. What do you call that thing? Marquee. Marquee, signboard, whatever. And it looked pretty good to try to entice you in to buy a Big Mac. So I did. Got Big Mac, some fries. If you look at the picture of the Big Mac, I want to compare it to the Big Mac that they sent back to the house. Which ain't. This don't look bad. I'm going to show it to you. Not bad at all, actually. It doesn't look as enticing to, as the uh, one on the marquee up there. We all know what Big Mac is. It's, it's got one bun, a sliver of meat, pickles, lettuce, the secret sauce on this half of it. Secret sauce, which is, I believe, is a thousand island dressing with relish in it. And on the bottom is the cheese, the lettuce, and another, I think, small piece of meat in there. Now, I ain't doing this necessarily than not McDonald's. This lettuce and meat sandwich is actually pretty good. Not as good as Whopper, but they're pretty good. So, but my point is, is it as good as the pictures they show? Now, you know McDonald's fries. Can't knock them. They always usually pretty good. I'm gonna adjust my camera here a little bit. So let's let's eat this. <laughs> I don't know if anybody in America that ain't had a Big Mac. I'm sure there is. It is right tasty. They use a lot of lettuce on it. Although Mr. Feature Man on there, Tom Willett, he had one, I was watching him yesterday. First time he'd had McDonald's in 18 years, which is amazing. They're pretty good, ain't mm -hmm. Bones look tough on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, Ben is close to the picture. You can see how good it looks. Still don't look good as a picture. But on a one to ten, I, I'll give it a five. It's looking close to the picture. Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So, I can't insult them a lot because it does taste good. I'll be back in a little bit with a little, little bit of dessert. Until then. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the, comparing the Big Mac to the picture they put out I think it was meteoric meteoric meteorocracy they didn't me, meteor I think it was halfway close mediocre 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 mediocrely close that ain't right either it's a me, me, leave, leave it off the L-Y, just say mediocre. I don't think it was close 
I think it's a halfway close. Picture looks a lot more enticing. I don't know why they can't make the food look like the picture. They're going to put a picture like that out there. But anyway, uh, now we're in my, going to have some dessert. You know, a lot of my dessert includes my buddy Jeff here. Jeff Brackett, that's his name. Anyway, no, it's not going to be peanut butter and Big Mac, although that might be pretty good. I haven't had these in a while. <clears throat> um, the box disappeared, but that's fine. I have some peanut butter and vanilla wafers. I got food lime brand. That's all right. I got food lime brand. They were two for four, so that's two dollars a box. Whereas the name brand vanilla Ella's vanilla. What is it? Vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers were almost four dollars for one box and these taste all right because i already eat one but here we got peanut butter and vanilla wafers <clears throat> i used to eat this a lot when i was younger i haven't had it in a while <clears throat> so i encourage y'all to go out and have some if you hadn't had it in a while Pretty nice brand. They're not bad. They're really crunchy. And of course, these Nella wafers are really good in uh, nanner pudding. Not the nanner, your grandma nanner, but the nanner pudding made with banana. Some people call their grandma a nanner, don't they? Nana, not Nana. Huh? They call her Nana, not Nana. Oh, I'm sorry. They call her Nana, not Nana. Sounds the same to me. This is a southern thing. This is a Nana. Officially banana, but it is a Nana. Not a Nana, a Nana. Sounds the same to me. And those are really good with peanut butter, too, than bananas. That's pretty good. Got one more to go. I know y'all enjoy seeing me eat them, so. Anyway, if you like these, hit the subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing. All it does is kind of say you like it, hit the like button. I'm stuck on 192 subscribers. I need to start putting some more on there. <clears throat> so. Appreciate y'all watching. I always wipe your knife off with napkin before you cut peanut butter on it, before you put it in the sink. That keep you from getting peanut butter all on your sink, right? Uh, she talking to them drum people again. Ain't got no, nothing more exciting down there than two guys beating on a drum. About a redneck as you can get. Oh, maybe not. Well, I need to wipe this, uh, 
wrap this one up, not white. I need to wrap this video up. As the man cutting the grass out in the hot sun said, Yeehaw! Here come the rain. We'll check you later.